On August 23, 2008, just after midnight, 41-year-old Mark Cronin, a construction laborer, was riding his Harley-Davidson motorcycle across an Aponset Bridge on his way home to his wife and three children in Quincy. As he came up over the crest of the bridge, a car traveling in the wrong lane crashed right into him. His left leg was severed and he had other serious injuries. The driver of the car, a woman, has been charged with drunk driving and other violations. Cronin talks about what he remembers about that night, his feelings, and how he is putting his life back together. I, when I was at the hospital the night, I, the night after I, I realized I lost my leg, there was no one there but myself and two nurses. And I broke down, I cried, and I said, there's no more tears for this leg. I have to move on, take care of my family. The young lady who hit me, she's probably not an evil person. That what happened was turned my life upside down, and I'm sure her family turned upside down as well. You so know. you don't have feelings of bitterness or anger? Or no, because my, or... my concentration is not on her right now. My concentration is on myself and my leg and getting my family back together. Can you tell me what you remember about the, about the accident? Um, I do remember people around me. Um, I remember, like I was saying, not to get into the religious end of it, but I do remember it felt like to me two people were holding my shoulders up and something came under me and... I, I just, it felt like almost like a hint, hint of disappointment that I wasn't picked up high enough and fast enough. And I was laying on the ground and people just over me. I felt like a cool rush coming through me. And I kept saying, save my leg, save my leg. And when I got back to the hospital, I wasn't sure. I thought I still had my leg on me. The next day after my wife came in, I kept asking if I had my leg. And I couldn't really talk because I had a tube down my throat. And I just kept pointing with my hand if I had my leg. And finally, my wife told me I did not have my leg. Do you, you were telling me that you rem the last thing you remember is something about headlights where you still have nightmares? Yes, I, headlights coming at me. When I came up over the bridge, the first thing I saw was two headlights at me. And I just happened so fast, I, I still wake up in the middle of the night with headlights coming at me. And I'm taking medication for that now to help with that. And what happened when, um, when you first came home? Well, when I... First left Boston City Hospital, they, they sent me to rehab, uh, over at Braintree Rehab. And they told me I could be there after two months, but I would not be walking out of there because of the other injury to my right ankle. So my goal was to get, they told me my goal to send me home was to get me into a chair, from a bed to a chair, into a toilet, and back and forth just to send me home. And they told me I could be there after two months doing that. Within a week I was up and out about and I was able to transfer back and forth and my goal was to get get home, and I did that in less than a week and a half. What made you able to do that? Just my will to be home and see my kids. Just I just wanted to go home and see my kids. That's That was my main goal. Foot over foot at some point. You know, and then there's all, all kinds of things that I'm noticing, you know, that as I walk around the house, you know, like, I'd love to have a railing down here, you know, to make it easier for me coming up and down, you know, another railing on both sides. Little things you don't think in your mind when you have both legs, you know, as you start, as I, I'm glad I'm moving around and now I can start realizing what I do need. This is Sue Scheibel, staff reporter for the Patriot Ledger and Gatehouse Media New England. For more coverage, see today's edition of the Patriot Ledger or go to patriotledger.com.